The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has accused the Supreme Court of Nigeria of denying its leader, Nambi Kano, justice and obstructing its release from detention, despite the October 13, 2022 ruling of the AP Court, which acquitted and discharged the IPOP leader. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Supreme Court aiding Buhari government to deny torture Nandi Kano. The Supreme Court aiding Buhari government to torture and to deny Nandi Kano justice. IPOB. IPOB in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ma Powerful stated that it wishes to alert Nigerians and the international community to what it described as deliberate obstruction of justice by the Supreme Court in the case of Kano, who is being detained by the Department of State Services, DSS. Honestly speaking, the Nigerian government have showed the world that they are above the law. But this is sad. This is not a good, a good, uh, a good news at all. That a whole government disobey its own court orders. You know, it's not good. It's not good. President Muhammad Wari do not obey court orders. I don't think that is fair enough. The indigenous people of Biafra has accused the Supreme Court of Nigeria of denying its leader Nnamdi Kanu justice and obstructing its release from detention despite the October 13, 2023 ruling of the Abbey Court, which acquitted and discharged the IPOB leader. IPOB, in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Pafo, stated that it wishes to alert Nigerians and the international community to what it described as a deliberate obstruction of justice by the Supreme Court in the case of Kano, who is being detained by the Department of State Services, DSS. Kano has been detained by President Muhammad Buhari's government since June 2021, when he was renditioned to Nigeria from Kenya. I probably recall that justice, justice of Abuja appeal court sitting in Abuja on April, uh, October 13, 2022, unanimously discharged and acquitted Kano of all charges brought against him by the Nigerian government and ordered his immediate and unconditional release, which barring the government from the further from further prosecuting the IPOB leader Namdi Kano. Similarly, the Umar Hia High Court ordered the federal government of Nigeria to return Mazen Namdi Kano to Kenya, that is where he was adopted, tortured, and extraordinarily renditioned to Nigeria, it said. IPOB noted, despite the rulings, the Nigerian government has refused to obey their own court orders. Instead, they erroneously went to the Supreme Court to obstruct justice by filing an appeal to their own lower court ruling. The secessionist group stated that one would have expected the Supreme Court to throw out the appeal by the Nigerian government for disobedience to the court to the appeal court orders or expedite actions on the case bordering on international crime and human rights abuse. Instead, they deliberately decided not to fit date to hear the appeal before them. It has been over 100 days since their federal government appealed the judgment of their appellate court, which discharged and acquitted Mazin Namdekanu. Yet, the Supreme Court has not fixed a date for the hearing. IPOP and Bia France perceive the Supreme Court justice as condoling with the federal government to delay and deny Mazin Namdekanu justice. The Nigerian government, which is in violation of international law of extra, extradition and disobedience of court orders, 
is enjoying immunity because Supreme Court justices have decided to treat justice for obedience to the executive arm of the government. If Supreme Court judges can expedite actions on the case involving Nigerian politicians, what stopped them from expediting the action on the extraordinarily rendition and human rights abuse of Mazin Namdekano, who is currently very sick. I Bob further questioned if the Supreme Court justice are based or are they promoting ethnic bigotry in dispensing justice? Do the men on the bench want the world to believe that they are the executive uh, branch of Nigeria, government to it? It asked. According to the group, Kanu's deteriorating health condition is more than enough evidence for the Supreme Court to expedite action on his case. If indeed they are not bullied or intimidated by the executive branch of the Nigeria government to stand down on his case, it is, it is said that justice delayed is justice denied. We, I think that the Supreme Court justices are aiding and abating the federal government of Nigeria in torturing and denying Mazin Namdekano justice by refusing to fix a date to hear the appeal before them. If anything else that is more severe happens to Mazin Namdekano in DSS solitary confinement, the Supreme Court justice and the federal government of Nigeria should be held responsible Mazen Namdekanu's case will text the boldness and independence of the Supreme Court of Nigeria as stipulated in their constitution. The world is waiting for the Supreme Court to prove their independence, they said. Hmm, my people. Nigeria is in the culture of circle of madness. Only the winds of forceful tornado and fire can blow off such madness. Someone just dropped that. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for always coming out here. 